Hey everybody, Tony here from High Tech Check. Um, just wanted to do a little update video to the, the Gear S2 3G uh, that I had put out. Uh, I've been using this uh, for about three days now. Uh, and I just wanted to give you uh, my impressions and uh, some, some things I've been uh, having to deal with uh, over these past three days. First, I'm going to go ahead and tell you the, uh, the things that I do like about it. Um, first of all, it has a, a beautiful screen. It's a AMOLED display. Uh, that's probably one of its best features is uh, the quality of the crispness of the display. It's very nice. Um, the band is like this soft rubber. <clears throat> uh, feels really nice. It doesn't uh, feel very plasticky and it feels uh, pretty good. Um, the bottom of the body here uh, is plastic, of course, and then it has uh, the <clears throat> the sensor on the bottom to detect your pulse and everything. And now the top of the watch is uh, stainless steel. Um, that's about the only thing that's metal on it. Um, it doesn't uh, it doesn't feel too bad on your wrist. Uh, I'm not too used to wearing watches, but uh, this isn't. Uh, it's not that bulky. It sits a, a little a little higher than the regular S2 on your wrist, um, but it's not it's not that bad. Um, so, other than that, uh, I'll go ahead and tell you about uh, the usability of the phone. Uh, as far as uh, calling calling people, uh, it works great. I mean, it works just as well as your phone. You saw in my first video that. Uh, I did make a call to my wife. Uh, the the sound is very good. The only thing is it's it's not as loud as I'd like it to be. So if you're going to make a call or talk to anybody, it, you probably want it to be in a semi-quiet place. Um, there was a couple times where I was talking in my car, uh, and I, I know I had to hold my wrist up to my ear just to hear uh, what the person was saying to me. But other than that, making calls... Um, receiving calls, no problems whatsoever. Um, one thing uh, that I did buy this phone for, like I said, I would, you know, try to go to the gym and instead of putting my phone in my pocket, I could use my watch, but I wanted to use my phone number. So you can set up uh, call forwarding. And what that does, it, what that does is it sends all the phone calls that go to your to your main number. Uh, they'll get forwarded to this watch, uh, which is pretty convenient. Um, I also wanted text messages to be sent to the watch from my main number. That does kind of work um, to a degree. Um, there's one little. Go back to that, and I'll tell you that about that in a second. Um, so with the call forwarding, you can get all your your uh, calls forwarded to this watch. Um, it's pretty simple. You set it up uh, on the the Gear S Manager that you download on your phone, um, and it just basically. It's, you know, it's a, it's real quick. You, you hit either off or on and it sets everything up for you. I had uh, a little trouble with that. Sometimes it would turn on and sometimes it wouldn't deactivate and it was a little bit of a pain in the butt. But, um, uh, like I said, it, it did, it kind of worked. Um, now I did buy this more for the messages and not the call forwarding. So, um, basically, this is a can be used as standalone phone, but to you to to get your text messages forwarded to this, it must be connected to your phone. Always, the phone has to be on, um, and it has to be connected. So, when I say connected, it's not via Bluetooth. It's connected via a cell signal. So, there's always a cell signal coming from your phone to this watch. Which is kind of disappointing because Bluetooth is just the same thing, but it's it's a near field instead of having a cell signal. So basically what it does is when a text message comes into your phone, 
it then goes through the messaging app and then sends that to your watch. Um, the only thing that uh, doesn't really work very well is if you use a third party application like I use Textra. Uh, I, I don't really care to use the, the Google messaging that comes with the phone. That works well. Uh, your messages get forwarded to the watch, you see the message, and you can reply to it. If you use a third-party app like Textra, when you get a text message, you get the notification on the watch, but it doesn't tell you what it says. You could reply to it, but you have to go back to your phone to see what somebody is trying to say to you before you can reply, which is kind of pointless to me. So they need to figure out a way to just kind of send the text message right to this instead of having it routed through your phone to come to here. So that's a really downer for me. I really was expecting it to work a little different, but it doesn't, so whatever. But anyway, I'll show you a message that I sent here or how it works. The voice... Uh, works really well, uh, the voice dictation, so you don't have to worry about typing it out on this small little keyboard. You can just tell tell the watch what you want to say, and it dictates it for you. I'm going to go ahead and show you this real quick. Hold on. Okay, so here I'll send a text to myself. Hey, what's going on? It's Tony. How are you today? See, as you can see, it it says everything that I said, and it'll just continue to keep doing it until I turn it off. <laughs> And then all you do is hit the little message thing and it sends it right to your phone. And it should show up on my 6P. There you go. So that works really well. But like I said, unfortunately, uh, <laughs> the message that you get from somebody else, if you're using a third-party app, doesn't work out really well. So uh, I really hate that. Just to clarify, when I say it doesn't work with a third-party app, I mean when you have uh, your number and your messages forwarded from your main line onto the watch. It does not work with a third-party app. You cannot see what somebody is trying to say to you. Other than that, if you're sending a text message from one number to this watch's number, it works flawlessly. Um, battery life. Uh, the second day that I used this, uh, I had the brightness down to level 3 uh, from 10, which is pretty low. I had to uh, disable the Bluetooth, no GPS. I turned everything off except for just a regular cell, cell signal. And at about 5 or 6 o'clock, I was down to 30%. My phone was still at like 60 so battery life on this is really not that great. Um, got to mention that uh, I took the f the watch off charge probably around ten o'clock in the morning. So from ten to like six, I ended up at a thirty percent battery at normal use. So. I would hope that when they say that the the watch lasts uh, a couple days, that that they don't mean on like battery saver mode, which all it does is uh, it turns everything black and white and only gives you um, phone and text message usability. So you might get the two and a half days out of it if you use that, but then you lose all usability of of the watch. Um, so that doesn't really make a lot of sense to me. So until they increase the battery life a lot on this, I don't think it's worth 
uh, 350 bucks. So, uh, that's why I'm going to return it. Um, I don't think it's worth the 300. Like I said, they still need to work out, uh, some of the details of the, the text messaging and, um, it's still having to be connected to your phone. It, it, it's supposed to be a standalone uh, unit, but it doesn't really work like that. So uh, I'm definitely going to return this. Um, and also another thing that kind of irked me is I, I called T-Mobile. Um, I talked to their tech support, and they I was trying to figure out how to get this the text messaging to come through, like the call forwarding. And they had no clue, couldn't help me. So they forwarded me to Samsung. Samsung did not want to help me set this up at all because my phone was not Samsung. This is a freaking Samsung watch. But they didn't want to help me, like I said, to connect it because I ha- I didn't have a Samsung phone, which really pissed me off. So... That's another reason why I'm returning this because Samsung is is not doing too good right now and I'm not going to be a part of helping their business. So that's another reason why. But other than that, I, I would say pass on this if you guys are thinking about it. They just It's a beautiful watch, but for usability and battery life, it's just it's not there yet. They're getting close, but it's just not there. So... Uh, if you guys had any, uh, more questions or anything, I will try to, try to answer them for you, uh, the best I can. But like I said, I'm probably going to return this today. So, uh, if you guys can, please rate and subscribe and I will talk to you later. Peace.